hope everyone is doing well, staying positive. Appreciate your support. This video takes place in San Francisco. It's a continuation of our last video. Check the link in the description below. So we're going to be installing about 80 feet gray beam here. 18 inches by 18 inches. Which is pretty typical for gray beams. So we got a couple issues here. I'm going to let my lead explain it. Then I'll get back to you guys on the other side. Okay, so for future building, it's a good idea. And my suggestion would be to actually raise the beam a little bit more and have something of a little curve. That way, if you ever do decide to level this out and you pour out concrete, it will go, it will, it will actually butt up against the wall of the I-beam rather than pouring concrete and matching it, it having it go right to the mud seal of the wall. So to make all this happen, we ended up cutting a bunch of old 2x12s and custom cutting each one of them based on the existing grade of the garage floor, as you can see here. We also have to make sure that each side is level, since this will be our new grade. One of the main details of the plan was that we have an 8 foot clearance. So here I'm going to walk out the project with you guys and kind of show you where all the gray beams are going to go. Coming back around to the front, in this section here, the GC ended up having to cut out all the concrete to make some adjustments for the plumber. And we ended up having to frame this section as well. Next several clips is gonna show everything framed up before we install the rebar. Alright, so after that little workout, it's time to get started with the rebar. We're using our Fast Cut 600 to make our stirrups, sometimes called squares. We're going to need about 80 to 90 of them. We're going to be installed on our rebar cages about 12 inches on center. We ended up making our rebar cages on the outside. We left about a two foot opening at the end for overlap so we can tie it onto the existing cage. So here we're tying our rebar cage using the old school way and the new school way. You guys probably see who won this contest. So as we take the rebar cage inside you'll notice that we have a two foot overlap at the end of the rebar cage. It might be hard to see because of the lighting this is what the inspector wants to see. Whenever two rebars come together, sometimes called splicing, it's a minimum of a 24 inch overlay. So now that we got all the rebar cages in, walk the side out with you guys. It's approximately 80 feet worth of gray beam. They're all about 18 inches by 18 inches. We got the dobies on the bottom. That gives us our three inch clearance on the bottom for concrete. We also got our clearance on the side, which is about three inches. All stirrups and ties, it's approximately 12 inches on center. And wherever we have to tie into an existing stem wall, we added some dowels, which went in about five inches with epoxy.
So in this area, the engineer called for us to go two foot six by two foot six, as opposed to 18 inches by 18 inches. You can also see the sewer line coming from the top to the bottom as well. Appreciate you guys time and checking out our latest video if it helped you out please like us leave a comment below if you got any questions or just to say hi and if you're in the bay area sacramento area there's a link in the description you can sign up for a free estimate and we'll come check you out enjoy your day keep it positive